What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Theater's World Headquarters. My name's Alex, and today we're going to be playing some CEDH. Mono color CEDH. That's right. Joining me in the studio today are Elliot, Jan, and my good friend, Mustache Jerry. Today, we got a few things to talk about, but first, let's talk about Game Genic. They generously sponsored the whole channel, and we want to say thank you so much. Check out this fantastic set of mats that we're playing on, and if you want some for yourself, just go to your local game store. In the meantime, though, we got one other mat we want to talk about, and that's this one sitting under Elliot. Wee wah, wee wah. This is Spike Theater Serial. It's a new Kickstarter that you can go down below in the doobly-doo, click the link, and be taken to pledge for. This right here is a fantastic new mat that we had commissioned by Mike Burns. Same person who did the Just Add Milk Secret Lair. If you want to get a hold of this limited edition playmat, do so either very shortly when it goes live, or if it's live right now, go do it right now. Don't wait. Go. Run. Sprint. There's a lot of cool things there. Pause the video now. <laughs> Pause it. Then <laughs> we, we, we will accept pausing the video at this yeah, time. Yeah, just this one time, though. After this, no more pauses. And so, now that you're back from pledging to the Kickstarter, my name's Alex, and today I'm playing Monocolored White for Heliod Sun Crown. This deck stacks a little number that's looking to get out Walking Ballista and or Triskelion, and using Heliod Sun Crown's ability, kill all of my opponents. Hey, that's us. Is that what it says? That is us, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm playing Magda Brazen Outlaw. This is, I think, Aaron's version of Cam from Play to Win's deck. Something like mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. I'm playing it because these guys wanted to play monocolored decks, and I like Dargons. I would just like to say I did not want to play monocolored decks. Didn't ask you, did I? No. <laughs> you playing Jan? Precious, based on the movie Sapphire. <laughs> uh, I'm playing uh, Crick, Son of Yogmoth. Mono Black. Uh, it's a pseudo reanimator where you're trying to loop Grey Merchant, uh, and you use his ability to spend your life to play big, big, dumb creatures and demons. And also, it's a storm deck, so there's Aether Flux Reservoir as well. Oh, cool. Option, so. What do you got, Jer? Well, well, I'm on the monkey. I'm on Ragavan, my nimble pair from the movie. I'm on Ragavan, the monkey, uh, nimble pilfer. Uh, it's a Staxi deck that looks to win with uh, Splinter Twin effects or Kiki Jiki effects, like you know your standard uh, Splinter Twin effects, um, and that's everything. Maybe even some Zealous Conscripts in there. That's the card. There you Thanks. go, buddy. And I'm gonna start the game. Well, before we get started, Alex, I have a pregame effect. Oh, we didn't even ask. He started the game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You missed it. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. I got a Gemstone Caverns oh, nice. pitching a mountain. Very cool. I would and be shocked if he had the the red ley line. I don't yeah, even right? know what it does. Mm -hmm. right. Probably deals one There's damage. Like three of them. Yeah. Three of them? Anyway, anybody else got anything? No. No. All right, start the game. I'll lead with Iganjo Castle. It's not even Seed of the Empire. It's not even the channel one. It's just good mm. old, good old fashioned. I'll tap that to cast Enlightened Tutor. Oh. No one can interfere with. Well, wow, you don't know. That's an aggressive stance. Does it target? <laughs> <laughs> Any effects? Nah, you know. <laughs> we'll get this walking ballista to the top of our library. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Well, in a couple turns. Pass turn. At least one, because you have to draw it. Thanks, Drew. Draw for turn. Ooh, I like that card. Uh, you know, Alex tutored. I want a tutor. Uh, Mountain. Mm -hmm. Gamble? Mania Crypt. Oh, no, it's a real one. Imperial Recruiter. Hey. Uh, effects. Nope. Oh, pass. Alrighty, I'm gonna shoot the da dupa da. Off of this Imperial Recruiter, I'm gonna get um, Universal d Dwarf Tomaton. Atoma Dwarf. Shut up. Go ahead. Is that <laughs> a near game? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Near? Near Tomaton? Well, R2 it might be a far game. game. Or a wherever you are uh -oh. game. Oh, okay, you went too far. Jan, Jan take please take your actions so that <laughs> Alex can stop talking. <laughs> well, I like where this is going. <laughs> we are near Automaton that channel now. <laughs> nope. Okay. I'm going to draw my card. Ooh, that's a fun one. Maybe. I've never read that card in my life. Uh, let's play a Cabal Basic Pit. Swamp. <laughs> uh, everyone else is tutoring. Uh, so... Jan, you can't. You can't. Why not? It taps for black. Oh. It takes a damage. Oh, that's Cabal Pit. I thought that was Cabal Coffers, Jan. Oh, Jerry sucks. I said Cabal Pit, right? I'm you <laughs> you did. You might have. Check okay. the tape. Check the tape. Uh, I've checked the tape. It looks like you said Cabal Pit. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to cast Imperial Seal. Take oh, he's in a free... Wow, he loses it on resolution. It's resolving. It's fine. Put that card on top. And uh, pass the turn. 
Untap. Oh, oh. Upkeep draw. He forgot. He, he forgot he, that he, he tapped that. Yeah. Man, Mana burn doesn't exist. Uh, mountain. Uh, I'm going to activate secret second ability dash on Ragavan. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it has haste. It's going to go back to his hand. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we got two tutors. Yep. See, but I can't use that. And Jans could be anything, even gonna, a walking bullet. Here's stuff. the thing. Here's Jans the thing. Could be a boat. In, in in the interest of making Jerry make the correct decision and not the gamble decision, this is a jeweled lotus. Oh, attack him. It's really good. <laughs> Move to declare attacks. Sure thing. Alex. Ripperoo. I'm just gonna exile this. How's that sound? Whoa. Wow, he might cast it for zero. Are you gonna cast it for zero? No, uh, but I could have cast it till until my end of turn. Okay. Alex takes two. And oh, you get a treasure. And Jerry makes a treasure. I make a treasure. I would then like to play a Lotus Petal for my turn. <gasps> Another treasure. And crack them both. Okay. And cast the Walking Ballista X equals one. Oh, that seems pretty good. Wow. Oh. Man, you had a lot more mana than I was hoping you would. Yeah. yeah. And kill uh, the Imperial Recruiter. Oh, you can. I can. I'm not. Okay. Anything else? Uh, nope. At the end of my turn, though, dash activates and, or not activates, but it triggers and Regaman goes back to my hand. Sounds good. Untapping, upkeeping, and drawing. I'll play a Plains' Land for turn. Tap one to cast Graph Digger's Cage. Oh, I think that's real bad for my deck, right? Creature cards can't cast spells. Okay, okay, we're good. We're safe. Okay. Resolves. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got her. That's probably bad for me, but. Tap for Mana Vault. Hey, that's, that's a good one. mana. Mox Opal. Oh, that's online. Pass the turn. You should have gone top side. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, untap. Uh, Mania Crypt. Um, this is win. That you don't. So that's you don't. So take... what's up, spikes? Is damage. Yeah. Okay. What what he said. What's up? Spikes? No damage. No damage. Draw for my turn. The lines that I take in this deck are not very complicated. I don't think. So I'm going to start by tapping this Mana Crypt for a Liquid Metal Torque. Nice. I'm going to play a Basic Mountain as my second land. Uh, and then I'm going to get the cards that I want to cast out of my hand, uh, also known as this Universal Automaton, mm -hmm. uh, before casting a Gamble. Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a bit of a risky one. We're only going to have four cards in our hand, but uh, yeah. That's, a, that's an Entomb. Effects, effects, effects. Super. I got a draw. I think. This is the card I'm going to put into my hand off of the gamble. And then we're going to have, oh, my good friend Jeremiah Ma's pick, apparently. There you go. Good call. That one. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Oh, Buried Ruin good answer. down. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. <laughs> like we're playing freaking Family Feud, huh? Okay. Mox Diamond. Uh oh. Discarding Urza's Saga. Oh, I had two lands. Uh, tapping these to cast Magda. Uh oh. Brazen Outlaw. Double uh oh. When does she trigger? On damage? Uh, whenever a dwarf I control becomes tapped. Yep. Okay. Let me know when you're changing faces, please. I would like to move to the end of my turn. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they have so many signals. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're yeah. good. All right. I'll untap and draw. Oh my goodness, I'd almost forgotten what that was. Uh, so let's play a gemstone mine for my turn. I'll put three mine mining counters. <laughs> mining good job, counters. wizards. We're good at this. Uh, and a jeweled lotus, as promised. Yeah. Thanks. I got nothing. All right, I would like to crack the jeweled lotus for three, four... Five, and I will pay two life to cast Greek. Uh, four uh, life? Four life, yeah. Is it four life? Yeah, that's oh, a seven. Four life. So 36, 32? Uh, 33, yeah. I had 37. Yeah, yeah so eight, he's one on... off the Cabal Pit. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I'm in free fall now. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like it's the point my, of your death. My own something. death is online. Great. Uh, and at that point, I would like to pass to Jerry. Oh, I should have attacked him for one. No. Oh. Should have. Untap, upkeep, draw. Okay. Well, what are we doing if we're not casting a Faithless I was just Looting? Saying, you can't go for it on two mana, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? I'll hey, cast Faithless yeah. Looting. Any responses? Go. 
I will discard two mountains. Nice. Because this is a mono red deck, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Checks out. I would like to then play a mountain as land for turn. Oh my god, he has so many. Mountains. How much do I risk? All of it? Question. All of it. I'm going to <laughs> dash in a Ragavan <laughs> and uh -huh. move to combat. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Jan, to ya. I will move to blocks. Oh, I think he's going to cast a black spell. <laughs> I might cast a black spell. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I will pay two life. 30 to cast cut down, targeting Magda. Dead dwarf. Put a 1 1 counter on creep. You got it. Uh, damage. Damage. Gain three life. 33. Regavan is dead. Yep. Wow, don't you wish you had a jewel lotus? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut down, stay down. Uh, I will then Don't do it. ping with Walking Ballista. Feels like a waste, but I'm going to Deadly Rollick the Automata. Oh, sure. <laughs> Exile. Uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on kick. You got it. Go ahead. Right on. I'm going to untap, upkeep, and draw. Oof. What a heater of a draw. One, two, three, Heliod Sun Crown. Yeah, see, that's why I'm not a fan of having it right <laughs> Yeah, fair. I mean, it's just an enchantment. Just That's little, also true. Just a little guy. Mox Opal. Taps for Paladin class. Nice. Spells my opponent's cast during my turn. Cost one more to cast. Oh, that's fine. Oh, during your turn. Yeah, past turn. Interesting. Uh, untap. Uh, same uh, verse second as the first. Yeah. What? No damage. No damage, no damage is uh, what that equals. Draw for turn. Yeah. Mm. Remember, fast. Base. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very funny. Uh, basic mountain. Uh, what does this loser cost now? Four. Four. Great. We have four. Magda. Uh, That's pretty good. We have one for a soul guide lantern. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, when an ETB's exile target card from a graveyard, I will target walking ballista. ballista? Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, pass the turn. All right, untap and draw. I'll play a Spire of Industry for the turn. And uh, yeah, oh, this land base is terrible. Uh, <laughs> two colorless, take one off of Cabal Pit, and I'll pay four life. To cast <laughs> so you're down to 25. Uh, and then I'll put a 1 1 counter on Crick because of Demonic Tutor. Sounds good. Diabolic. Diabolic, Diabolic Tutor. Tutor, right. Give her. A bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Not in this deck. It's just just the, just the same. Just the same. I'm going to put this card in my hand. Uh, and then, because we're already in free fall, I'm going to, well, I'm going to pay two life and a black to cast Dothy Voidwalker. Ooh. So Go 26. Six. Uh, put another counter on Greek. Uh, and then I think I move to combat. Sure. Maybe. Let's, let's, uh, let's donk Jerry for six. You got it. I'll go up to 32. Uh, I'm yeah. going to 34. Jerry, 34, 6, Crick. Yeah. Yep. And Jan, 32. Yep. Somebody might die to that. Yep. Faster. It's getting large. Untap up, keep draw a mountain. I, like, can't uh, flame slash it already. Yeah. <laughs> One. Gamble. Oh, you're going to go get a mountain. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. No gamble, no future. Any responses? Nope. I'm going to get this card, okay. put it into my hand. Elliot should pick. I yeah, I get it. to pick because you picked for me. Oh, I'm so good. Jerry. Oh, it is <laughs> exile. So is the gamble. <laughs> I'm not going to say that was the card, but it wasn't wasn't. So it was. Interesting. Anything else? Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll play a Graft Digger's Cage. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Anything else? Go ahead. Sounds good. I was I, like, maybe I can find a way to get rid of one of them. I was going to say, I sure hope I don't need to do things for my grave or library. Play a planes? I'll pass the turn. Good. Hmm. Uh, end of your turn. I am using the mode of this where I get to sacrifice it to draw a card. I like to put you in the end of the Oh, sure, pal. <laughs> draw a card. <laughs> Untap. 
uh, Mania Crypt. Wow. wow, I'm really good at Mana Crypt this game. very good at Mana Crypt this game. It's like making up for all of the losses that I've had in my life. Every single one? Bad. Well, not all of them. It's probably just the magic ones. Oh, okay, good. I was wondering about all the ex-girlfriends and... Ooh. <laughs> I was going to bring up... Like, he knows about all of those. Like two-thirds of the ones, too. But <laughs> we're going dark. Uh, I'm going to cry. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, tap this liquid metal torque for this... Springleaf drum. Ooh. Now that I don't have another dwarf to tap. <laughs> you have Magda. I said another. Magda can attack. Yeah. Yeah. It says a dwarf. I understand. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't get two treasures. I need attack. to get to five. You attack understand? Jerry. I'm gonna. Okay, good. Can you chill? Wow, he has shadow. Oh, wait. Yeah, attack Jan. Oh, that's fine. Three. Three. Psh. 29. Uh, I make a treasure. Uh, my Magda is tapped, so I make a treasure. Mm hmm. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Wee! I'll untap. And draw. Ooh, that's a good one. Rut row. It's like, okay. Uh, I'll pay two life. 27. And tap Spire Industry. Cast Monic Tutor. Oh. Jerry Crick. Yeah, this checks out. Uh, effects? Nope. Yeah, go for it. Put this card in my hand. Uh, then I will play a City of Traders as my land for the turn. Uh, I will tap City of Traders, uh, take a damage off my Cabal Pit, go to 26. Uh, and then pay two life, go into 24. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, cast a Sheldred, the Apocalypse. Dang. Ooh. I'll put yeah. a counter on Crick. What is this thing, eight now? Eight. Yep. He smokes. Pretty big. Elliot. Me? Eight. Wow, I thought you were going to try to kill Jerry. Jerry's got three mana. Two. Uh, and you go back to 32 as well. I right? do. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Elliot has eight crick. I eight do. Crick. Do we have an eight crick? Uh, and then we'll pass the turn. Untap up, keep draw mountain. Lose Please two take life. two from shield. Oh, no. <laughs> 32. Well, okay. Okay, well, okay. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. We'll just cast Ragavan for his full cost and pass the turn. On your end step. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the... We get copyright struck by Lou Bega. <laughs> <laughs> Mambo number Gandalf. Uh, oh, flash. You may cash legendary spells and artifact spells as though they had flash. If a legendary permanent or an artifact entering or leaving the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, trigger that ability on an additional time. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. And we're going to up tap. Bow, bow, bow. That's the Blue's Clues noise. Sure it is. Almost is. Lose two life. Mm, okay. <laughs> Only because he asked six. Nice. Did he ask? He, I don't think he asked nicely <laughs> at all. <laughs> I think he told me. I don't think Shieldred asks nicely for anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I think she's like, hey, could you guys make me a horrible millipede nightmare body? Please, <laughs> nice. if you have time. Yeah. <laughs> if you would. Yeah. And I'm really glad Jerry's here today. Inventor's Fair. Hey, eh. more like Inventor's Unfair. Copyright strike. Pass the turn. <laughs> wow, I can make that joke too. That's not a, that's not a Jerry joke. That's a Jerry joke. Know. I was going to say one of the proudest days. I, I'm pretty sure it's a Bill joke. One of the yeah. proudest days filming ever was the first time we played in Inventor's Fair and nobody said anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Mana Crypt. Ooh, we got a big flip that time. Whoa! And I'm still Four too good at the row. game. I, I think he's cheating. Off return. Lose too late. <laughs> oh, tough. <laughs> it's, like I, it's like I lost my Mana Crypt anyway. Um, sucks. I got a basic mountain. Yeah. Um, yeah, guys, what are we, are we dying? I think we're dying. To what? Jan. <laughs> well, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Uh, pass the turn. Good Sounds dealing good. with it. Well, untap. I'll draw a card, and I'll gain two life. Oh, Whoa, my God. wait, that's not symmetrical? No, it's not. Yeah, again, for some reason. <laughs> I would like to move to combat. Alex. Ooh. Ooh. Eight. He's getting after everybody. I'll take eight. Alex to 28. Mm -hmm. Jan to 42. 42. Uh, and I will pass. Oh. Uh, Terrifying. Tap, upkeep, draw. Lose two life. Uh, Jerry to 30. Jerry to 30. You say, with a straight face, knowing I am dead. 
What? I'm gonna tap one for uh, Sticky Fingers on Ragavan. Oh, heck yeah. I love this card. <laughs> Menace. Yeah. Enchanted Creature adds Menace, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. That's pretty sweet. When Enchanted Creature dies, draw a card. I like that. Any, any responses? No, you got it, man. All right. Okay. Swing at Jan for two damage. No blocks. <gasps> okay. Combat damage. Okay, cool. Jan to 40. Jan to 40. Trigger, 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 trigger. Yeah. I get two, two treasures, treasures, and we exile the top card of Jan's library. Last zone. I cannot do anything with that. Sounds good. Land. Tough. I'm so glad that was that. I didn't want to draw it last zone. <laughs> <laughs> you could blow up both of the Graph Diggers cages. Oh, snap. I could have. All right. I will pay a mountain for a Sensei's Divining Top. Mm -hmm. I will then spin and, uh, my spy, my divining top. We'll put him back like that and pass the turn. On Jerry's end step, I'm going to pay four and sacrifice Inventor's Fair. To More like Inventor's Unfair. To search up an artifact and put it into my hand. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may. The Inventor's Fair goes under Dothy Voidwalker. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find Triskelion. Oh. It. Now on tap. Is that good? Is that good for him? I don't know. Uh -oh. I haven't heard that card in a while. We'll see. Is Who's he running Mike? <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> 26? Yep. Well, you know what they say on the spike feeders. Let's go do that spike feeders. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Triskelion. Any responses to the casting of Triskelion? Nope, nothing to the cast. Nope. I have a response. I would like to tap my Sensei's Divining Top, losing two life. Draw this card, going down to 28. Using both my treasures, I'm going to Tybalt Trickery the Triskelion. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. So counter target spell, choose one, two, or three at random. Its controller mills that many cards, then exile cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card with a different name than that spell. They may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then they put the exile cards on the bottom of the library in a random order. It like cascades you. Yes. <laughs> yep. It does get around Graft. Graft Digger's Cage. Because it exiles. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you, you cast it from exile, not from your library. Uh, you choose. Nope. It's at random. It's random. Oh, random. So we're going to do one, two is one, two, three, or sorry, one, three, four, you know, the middle. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. We do. Uh, so that's a one, because it's a one. You got it. So you mill one. Portable hole goes under. Yes, and also Tybalt's Trickery will. And now... Triskelion. Oh. Tybalt's Trickery. And now you go until you hit a... Creature. Or artifact. Or artifact. Or, I'm sorry, I exile a non-land card with a different name. So just non-land. Oh, touch the spirit realm. You have a touch the spirit realm. You may cast it. You don't have to. We'll go ahead and cast it, and we'll grab Shieldred. Ooh. Is that what that does? Yep. Yes. Oh, it, this one. It, uh, whatchamacallit is, is... It's a banishing light? Yeah. Oblivion oh, okay. ring or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, with Heliod online, we will pass the turn. Oh. That's a block. <laughs> oh. uh, end of Alex's turn, I will tap Magda. Make a treasure. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Mana Crypt. Come on, baby. Six, five six in, in a row, row or something? We're up to five. Aww. Uh, so I go to... 30, 27. 27 and then 25 because I'm drawing a oh, card. Oh, Shieldred's gone. Oh, Shieldred's gone. gone. 27. 27 for me. Alex is the MVP hey, yeah. of this game. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. You're welcome. I feel like I'm being good. looked I at. I love Tibbolt's trickery, <laughs> that, that's man. That's really funny. Here's some stuff. Um, I've got a Barbarian Ring. Ooh. Ah. Uh, It does not have threshold anywhere close. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Oh no, wait. Yeah. You can attack. I will. Let's do it. Yeah. But then he attacks me. It's true, I will. <laughs> okay. Attack you with just Magda. Alright, I'll take two. Go to 38. 38, and I get another treasure. Yes. Uh, go for it. Sweet. I'll untap my prick and draw. Let's move to attacks. Mm-hmm. Jerry. 
No blocks. Yeah, this checks out. Eight. Take eight. So Jerry to 20. With a 14, 14. crick. And I'll we'll go to 46. 46. And I will pass. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw this card. Oh, I knew what that was. Oh, it was his top. It was, it was a sensei's, sensei's divining, top. divining top. He might play it again, even. Elliot? Yeah, friend. I'm going to swing at you for two. Oh, menace. Menace. 25. 25. I'm going to trigger, 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 make two treasures, and exile the top card of your library. It is... A garden Hellkite. Oh, that's really bad for me. I think that's my win condition. One of them, yeah. <laughs> it's not great for you. I can't cast this. We'll just leave that in exile. I, I'm not going to be able to cast that this turn. Okay, <laughs> we got to figure out a different way to win now, team. Good luck. All right. Jerry's just sitting here chaotically swinging <laughs> wind off people's yeah, boards. Yeah, actually owning everybody. Yeah. Cool. We're just gonna We're just going to cast a magic card. I'm going to tap five mana, treasures tapping for reds, and uh, I'm going to play a Wandering Archaic. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have anything to Wandering Archaic. Uh, yeah, me neither. Jerry, I feel like now is the perfect time to re-gift you uh, with your Tybalt's Trickery. Awesome. <laughs> Beauty. Love it. We're going to do it the way we did it before. First two, second two, third two. One. I'm milling one. I am milling a lodestone golem. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And then... Uh, this is your card, Jerry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, so those go to the graveyard. That It's countered. Yes. They get countered. Now you exile. And now we exile until I hit a pyroblast. Wow, is that is so it a, good. Is it a non-land this... card or non-land permanent? It is non-land card with a different name. <laughs> and I am so happy all of my lovely friends don't play blue decks. On the bright side, you can put it on the bottom of your library in a random order. You can. Or what I can do for the memes is target your Heliod. Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Good job. Thanks, man. That was an anticlimactic finish to what I thought was going to be a really powerful turn. Go ahead. Okie dokie. We're going to untap in our upkeep. Mana Vault's going to trigger. I'm going to go ahead and pay four. Seems good. Smart. And we will go to our draw step. Play a planes. It's land for turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll attack Jerry. With Gandalf the White, giving him lifelink from Heliod, dealing 4 damage, going up to 30, triggering Heliod. I'm going to 16. And we'll put one counter on Heliod Suncrowned. I like it. Pass turn. Uh, untap. <laughs> Just gotta keep reminding myself what the card in my hand is. <laughs> uh, same thing. Spikes is... Hey. Oh, sucks. 22. Drop it in. Combat. Mm-hmm. Jan. Yep. Make another treasure. Jan to 44. 44. Yep. I'm trying here, guys. <laughs> Elliot's one treasure away. Uh, yeah, from what? My, I don't know. But <laughs> I have no idea. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I guess I'll untap and draw. I would like to uh, two colorless, and I will get rid of this last. Uh, actually, no. I'll take one. Take one. Sure, 43. Life is a resource, 43. Life is a resource Life. that you keep gaining. <laughs> Life is a highway. I'm going to ride it all night long. Uh, let's play this Balthor the Defiler. Or the Defiled. Uh, paying another two life? Or one, two. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, pay another two life. Okay. 41. 41. Balthor. Trigger Crick. Trigger Crick. Use this dice. Uh, and then I will go to combat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No. Sorry, Jer. That is very A-OK. -okay. I will take the death. I gotta get rid of one of these Grafdigger cages. So that's seven? That, if, uh... Nine. No, nine. nine. I took nine, so... <sighs> Jan goes to 50. I'll go to 50. OK. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Not to me this time. Not to, not to Jerry. One tap. Up, keep, and draw. Play planes. Oh, 
for his crick on the Indian? No. <laughs> Gets he is. What? He's a horror minion. I'm going to gain one more life. Go 51. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Translator's note. Move to attacks. Gandalf the White at Jen. For five? Four? Four currently. No blocks. We will activate Heliod's ability to give it lifelink. You got it. Gain four life. Go to 34. Okay, so Jan to 47. Yeah. Alex to 34. Put a counter on Heliod. You got it. Pass the turn. Great. Untap. Uh, upkeep Mana Crypt again. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, we're back. Back to our winning ways. Draw for turn. All right, team. We potentially have a line here, I think. So I'm going to turn Magda into an artifact. Okay. In addition to its other types. Then I will tap the Springleaf Drum to tap Magda for a red because I'm a mono red deck, mm -hmm. uh, triggering and making a treasure. Uh, with the Magda make a treasure on the stack. Yup. Hardcast Solitude. What does that do? Exile target creature. It's mm. Magda. Okay. Uh, the... Solitude resolves, trigger targeting Magda. Yep. Deflecting SWAT. Okay. I have a fix. Uh, do I get to choose a new target yeah, or no? <laughs> I will choose Crick. Uh, so I have an effect. Uh, I will tap for a black, remove last counter from Gemstone Mine, and a colorless cast Imp's Mischief. Uh, changes the target of target spell with a single target. I lose life equal to its converted or its mana value. So Deflecting Swat, that has got a single target targeting Solitude's ability, I'll change the target of Deflecting Swat to Imp's Mischief, because Imp's Mischief is now on the stack. Makes sense to me. So Seems good. You Imp's lose... Mischief resolves. Resolves, I get a counter on the yeah, And you lose and three. three. Go to 44. And solitude now, ability on the solitude stack. Solitude is still targeting Magda. Yes. That happens. Gain two life. I will. I You're go welcome. to 24. Make a treasure. I make a treasure. Tough. Rough. Uh, because I turned it, I guess you just wouldn't have done it then if I didn't turn it into an artifact anyway, so that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Recast Magda. Take a damage. Off your barbarian. Off a of barbarian ring. Yep. 23. Uh, attempt to use Magda's ability, sack five treasures to search my library for an artifact or dragon card. Give her. Uh, off of this Magda trigger, I will find Portal to Phyrexia. Oh. Uh, when it ETBs, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. I'm dead. I don't have any. Good job, Jerry. Thanks. This is the one time being dead matters. Uh, I will play this Homeward Path as my land for turn. And attack Jan for one. <laughs> Got him. 43. 43. Not 43. Uh, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Untap and draw. Last turn. Okie dokie. We're going to untap. We're going to upkeep. We're going to draw. Oh, so good at the game. We'll play this Mana Crypt. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't have, but... I don't care anymore. We'll tap one, two, three, four, five. Heliod, Suncrown. Mm -hmm. We'll tap one, two, three. Move Paladin class up to level two. Oh, I yeah. forgot that had abilities. <laughs> yeah, now it's an anthem. <laughs> Pass turn. Untap. Uh, in my upkeep, I have to flip a crypt. I don't get to put a creature... I guess I get to target one, but it doesn't enter. Would you like to target Gandalf the White? <laughs> sure. It doesn't do anything. Dang. <laughs> I didn't lose life, though, so that's cool. Draw for turn. Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, tap this mana crypt for this smuggler's copter. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, crew the smuggler's copter with Magda. Make a treasure. Make, Make a treasure. treasure. Wait, that doesn't do anything. Oh, well, well. pass the turn. It's got a summoning <laughs> thickness. It'll do something eventually. Nice. All right. I'll draw. Well, uh, still can't do anything, so let's turn. All righty. We're going to untap. We've got a mana crypt trigger. We're going to do the same as Elliot, but with, you know, more Savoir Faire. I don't speak French. Me neither. I'll take three. Yes. 31. And we'll draw a card. We'll play Emergence Zone as our land for turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tap one, two, three, four, five to put Paladin class up to level three, which has whenever you attack and tell a turn target attacking creature gets plus one, plus one, play each other attacking creature and gains a double strike. Oh. Pass the turn. I'm going to die to this thing. Untap. Isn't uh, Manuscript. Heliod not online. Heliod not online, otherwise I'd be a lot happier. Yep, sucks. 20. 20. Uh, draw for turn. Mm -hmm. I'll target uh, Gandalf again. Sure. <laughs> he only arrives when he means to, and he doesn't mean to. Uh, tap Magda. Get in the copter. Yep. Make a second treasure. Yep. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll attack... Janregard. Jan yep. for four. Trigger it. Smuggler's Copter. I will go to 39. Discard this Chrome Mox. Uh, that's a good one. Three mana. Mm -hmm. Cursed Mirror. Uh, I will have it enter the battlefield as a copy of Imperial Recruiter. Deal. Mm -hmm. uh, search. Yep. Off of my cursed recruit mirror, I will find this Dockside Extortionist. Would you like to cast Dockside Extortionist? I would, Alex. Thanks for asking. You're welcome for asking. What do I got? Zero. Four from Alex? Uh, five. Three. Five from Alex. Uh, six. I can count. <gasps> seven. Wait, I was going to say, all your non land One, two, three, Alex. four, five, six, seven from yeah. Alex. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Six, seven. I always forget the enchantments part. I know, yeah. right? Yeah, why does it have so many lines of text? That's, anyway, did that's we the lose moral the game? of the story. I hope so. I'm going to sacrifice five treasures to activate Magda. Off of this Magda activation, I'm going to find Clock of Omens. Uh, this little ditty is a, a bit of a combo with Magda herself. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to tap Liquid Metal Torque again to turn Magda into an artifact. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to tap two of these treasures. These ones are tapped now. Elliot. Like Oh, thanks, pal. Uh, to activate Clock of Omens to untap Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Okay. Uh, she untaps, then I'll tap another one. And the Magda which to makes... the clock, which will make another treasure and untap the Magda. So I can now make infinite tapped treasures. Let's go tutoring. Okay, so I'm going to say I have this many... Tapped treasures. Tapped treasures. And two untapped treasures. Yes. And an untapped magda. Yes. Uh, let's see what I'm finding. Uh, so I actually only have to tutor three times, even after, even after I did all this nonsense. I'm going to find Spine of Ishsaw with my first one to destroy Graf Digger's Cage. That's a very important piece. Very important piece, yeah. Uh, then I'm going to find Maskwood Nexus. And uh, for some reason, this card says creatures you control are every creature type, but the same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards I own that aren't on the battlefield, which means that with my third search, I can find this reckless fire weaver no that dragon. happens to be a dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then you will continue to make... Exactly, then I continue the loop making more treasures, but they ping everybody this time, and I drop Aaron's deck all over the floor. All right, so well, this is a very important thing. So, like, this is Aaron's deck, so mm. you don't own the card. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, good thing that we doesn't have there. any yeah. rules meaning. <laughs> anyway, that was a good game. Yeah, yeah, that was a... I did not expect to be the one to win that one. Uh, I definitely didn't expect to be the one to win that one. <laughs> <laughs> Those graph digger cages yeah. drastically altered the way I had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Because you said like, at the a beginning you're in a reanimator deck, and everything, right? So, like... I don't think the deck's plan is to make Crick big and beat people to death, yeah. but I mean... It works. It was like, working. Oh. Well, so the thing is, like, with if that Phyrexian, Portal to Phyrexia hadn't come out, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. and I would have just swung out and been at 54. Yep. 
that's that enough. kills another person, and yeah. then yeah, that's enough so. as they say in the business. I thought your deck did pretty good, Jerry. Aside yeah. from stumbling <laughs> for yeah, being on three lands. I made some interesting choices in the name of me having more fun doing things. I had the Sensei's top earlier. I could have played out the Ragavan earlier instead of going for the funky line to try to get right. uh, thing. And I also had what else did I have? I remember when I swung at Jan, there was another play I could have done that probably kept me the Ragavan and uh, had more board state. But I'm not going to lie, I, I, I just like hitting people with Ragavan mm -hmm. and playing their cards. Yeah. Uh, speaking and of stealing like a, win cons. Seems like a big point of <laughs> yeah. playing the deck is hitting people with the monkey, right? Uh, so. Speaking of stealing win cons, I realized like four turns after you Tybalt's trickeried me that uh, Paladin class would have prevented you from doing that. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to those YouTube comments. How are you guys doing? Oh, uh, 53 of them. Yeah, if there's not 53, I'm going to be disappointed. Um, but yeah, no, I think this was a good game overall. Uh, so before we go, I just want to say thank you so much to Game Genic. You're the folks that keep the lights on around here. You rock. And if you are in the market for any kind of accessory for your gaming habits, whether it's a play mat, a sleeve, or just a box to store some stuff in, go check out your Game Genic products at your local game store. And if your local game store doesn't have them, ask for them. They can probably get them in. In the meantime, you're going to start seeing some names scroll up here next to my face. Those are our Patreons. Our patrons help keep the lights on around here as well. They keep all the lights on that GameGenic doesn't keep on, which, again, we have so many lights. So we just want to say thank you to those folks, and if you want to join them, you can go over to patreon.com slash the spike feeders. And if you haven't already pledged in our Kickstarter for this fabulous mat... Yeah, let's get a, get a shot of that again. Ooh. For this fabulous play mat, that's the only way you're going to be able to get them reliably, so please go do that. In the meantime, we hope you folks have a wonderful day.